He is how to outsmart the narcissist, so they are speechless. In this video, you'll learn the fundamentals of manipulating a narcissist into feeling remorse. A person's goal may be to reduce the narcissist's sense of self-worth. Those with narcissistic personality disorder who gain insight into their actions and realize they were wrong should make amends. However, I can see why this would be necessary. In this talk, I'll show you how to publicly shame a narcissist in a way that actually works. I hope this email finds you healthy and happy this morning. The egotistical person we have in mind to humiliate fits this description. But before we can do that, we need to find out why this work is being done. Don't bother trying to make someone cry if they've already shown they can't be moved. Toxic, stagnant individuals pose a real threat to society. Still, we hold out hope that they'll feel remorse when they see what they've caused. Narcissists are prone to making hasty judgments. If they feel like their pride has been violated, they will explode. Given this, one can use the technique of reverse psychology to get a reaction. When dealing with a narcissist, it's best to act in a way that's opposite of what they anticipate. However, eliciting an emotional response from a narcissist is qualitatively different from causing them to feel anything at all. This second possibility is extremely unlikely. However, with the right application of reverse psychology, even the most egocentric of people can be convinced. Think about putting into practice this possible answer. Get what you want out of a conversation with a narcissist by using reverse psychology. People who have a critical attitude are often mischaracterized as being easily offended. If the narcissist makes an effort to alter their behavior and concentrate on other people, they may experience feelings of regret and guilt. The most effective strategy for dealing with a narcissist is to refrain from giving the interaction too much of your attention and energy. When you keep your emotions in check, the narcissist won't get the thrill of seeing you completely lose it, and they won't get as much pleasure out of seeing you suffer. Narcissists have a keen ability to read others' emotions based on subtle shifts in body language and tone of voice. When dealing with a narcissist, it's best to keep your cool and hide your feelings. If the narcissist behaves in this way, their true intentions and motivations could be called into question. It's pointless to apologize to a narcissist because they lack the emotional intelligence to understand your feelings. Since they're usually lost in their own thoughts, this person has a hard time connecting with others on an emotional level. Keep in mind that a narcissist can never be counted on for any kind of validation or emotional support. Spending time with a narcissist will do nothing to boost anyone's self-esteem. It must come from within. Reverse psychology may work temporarily, but it always backfires. It's pointless to try to reason with a narcissist in the hopes that they'll change their ways. Even if using reverse psychology produces immediate results, in the long run it will fail. Alternately, you can sometimes stress someone out by remaining silent, which will get their attention. Reducing your time spent together sends the message that you value the relationship more highly than the narcissist does. The first step in taking your life back from a narcissist is mastering the no statement. They will only grow in power if you waste your time trying to change their minds or show them empathy. Keep in mind that narcissists can't empathize with others and are only concerned with themselves. By ignoring them, you can protect yourself from their manipulations. Don't give in to your own mind's persuasion. Make your own happiness and well-being a top priority instead by taking responsibility for your life. Narcissists are completely self-centered and only think about themselves. This is evidenced by the fact that they can coerce others into making admissions of guilt or apologies where they don't want to. Attempting to connect with someone who is emotionally distant and focused inward is fruitless. Once their own needs are met, narcissists care little for the welfare of those around them. You can't expect help and compassion from someone who is emotionally cold and uncaring. If you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. I pray this article has been helpful to you. I value our conversation, but I must be on my way.
first, let's go over the video's highlights. Who do you know who has no regard for your feelings and only cares about their own? Methods for dealing with people who are overly self-absorbed are the subject of this tutorial. Trying to make narcissists feel bad about how they treated your is a waste of time. They have no empathy and are only concerned with what's best for themselves. With the right amount of reverse psychology, however, you can get their attention. To provoke a response from narcissists, you must first subvert their expectation. Always keep in mind that using reverse psychology is not the same as trying to lower someone else's self-esteem. If you are having a conversation with a narcissist, it's best not to show any emotion. Don't give your opponents any idea of how you're feeling by showing any sign of emotions. Apologizing to a narcissist is also fruitless because they have no capacity for empathy. Don't say a word. As a result, you stop making any effort to keep the relationship alive. They will have no choice but to listen to you once you turn up the heat. Do what you have to do to protect yourself and avoid being manipulated by them. No amount of effort on your part will sway them. They are irrevocably set in their ways. They are completely self-absorbed. Finally, if you ever find yourself dealing with a narcissist, keep your cool, put your own needs first, and employ some reverse psychology. The daily view count for this video has been rich. We appreciate you taking the time to watch. Thanks for watching.